Hello, my name is Michael Echave. I'm an AEC Technical Specialist here at ATG USA, and today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review. Today's tips and tricks is going to be covering exporting spaces from Revit. Now, if you've seen one of my previous videos from ATG's social media account, you may have seen me talk about review with spaces. Now, if you are trying to maximize your time and export room data to spaces, for review, you can do that seamlessly. You have to have the add-in capabilities though, which means you need to have review CAD or review extreme. So if you have those and you want to try doing this, let's hop right into Revit and show you how this can be done. Now that I'm in Revit, I have an out-of-the-box residential sample template and rooms have already been created in this floor plan. Now, as you can see, they have been labeled with their names, kitchen, dining, living, so on and so forth. And we want to export these rooms out as spaces into review. So under the add-ins ribbon, you will see Bluebeam. Again, you have to have review CAD or review extreme. Now under here, under change settings, because you can already create a PDF from here, but we want to change the settings of how we're exporting our PDFs out. So when I select this under the general settings part, you will find transfer data. There's a very important checkbox that needs to be selected, such as export rooms to spaces. You can even export those rooms to area measurements also if you wanted to. But currently, right now, all I'm going to do is export rooms to spaces. You also probably want to set up your sheet printout selection. You could do current, all sheets, or selected. I'm only going to select the sheet that has a specific floor plan on it so I can show you how it can be done. I'm going to hit OK. Then you can say Create File. Now you're going to save it wherever you want to save it. I've already saved it, so I'm going to hit Cancel. And let's hop right into review and see what happened. Now that I'm in review, we can see that spaces have actually been exported. Now they're not different colors. We can go through and do all of that. Again, if you've seen my other video on spaces, detailing on how to do this, you can look there. But let's see what spaces and data were exported. So over on my right hand side, I have my access panel and spaces is active. I can select it to gain access to the panel. And now I can see the data that's been pulled out as spaces. So all of my rooms, how they've been named, have been brought out as spaces. I can click on them. I can edit them if I wanted to. I can even right click, take a snapshot, create an area measurement directly from that specific space. I could cut it, copy and paste. I can even rename it. And again, here are the properties if I wanted to change the color or even the name for it. Thank you for joining me today on my tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review covering exporting spaces from Revit.